Hi friends, welcome to art. Today we are going to explore the use of warm and cool colors in creating a landscape or a seascape, your choice. We're gonna look at the master artwork of Ernst Ludwig Kirchner and how he uses warm and cool colors <laughs> start by looking at the color wheel. Here we have um, a color wheel and we have our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And we use those to make our secondary colors, which are green, orange, and violet. But the other thing about a color wheel that's really important is half of it is warm colors and half of it is cool colors. So warm colors, it's kind of divided right down about there. So the warm colors are the red, orange, yellow family, and the cool colors are the green, blue, violet family. I kind of like to think of it as the sun in the sky is warm and the ocean in the ground is cool. So let's start drawing. All right, so the tools we are going to use today are paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a marker. And we're gonna work out our design first, and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna color it. And we can either color it with pastels or a crayon. So to start with, we're gonna uh, take our paper and we're gonna lay it on our table horizontally. So that's the long way. This is horizontal, this is vertical. We're gonna start with horizontal, okay? And the first thing we need to do is draw a horizon line. Horizon line is the line that indicates where the land or the sea ends and the sky begins, okay? And I'm gonna start with a seascape, and so it's a little um, windy out, so it's not a perfectly straight line, all right? And then I'm just going to add some waves in my sea, okay? So we have a series of horizontal lines across our paper. All right, and it's sunset, so I'm going to add the sun in here, okay? Now, I always like to say, those of you who know me well, to draw light till you got it right, because you might want to make some changes in your decisions that you're making. So if you draw it light, it's much easier to erase when you change your mind than if you draw it really hard. Okay, um, all right, so I'm going to finish my sun like that. All right, now I want to come in and I want to go over the lines I want to keep with my black marker, and then I'm going to erase the lines I don't need. So give that a little bit of erase, and I'm going to go over it like this. <laughs> my horizon line. Um, in this piece, I'm going to have, I think, a big wave coming up. Okay, big wave. Right, and I am drawing it light until I got it right, because I might change my mind about some things. I'm also interested in this, um, a little bit of foreground, middle ground, and background. Um, so I'm going to think about that as well. So here is my big wave. I have a horizon line. I'm going to put my sun over here. Okay, and then I think I might need a boat in this one. So I have a sail. A little scary under that big wave, but I think it's going to be okay. When I'm drawing it light, I kind of move around, figure out what I'm going to do. Then I come back in and I erase the lines I don't need. You don't see that horizon line because it has a sail in front of it. I need a place in the boat for somebody to sit. Okay, so we have a horizon line. 
Uh, that's the middle ground. In the foreground, we have a boat. And in the background, we have a sun. <laughs> And I am going to do a horizon line. Horizon line is going to be the line where the earth meets the sky. Okay. So today's horizon line is there. And I'm going to give myself some mountains. Mountains can be done with a nice triangle shape. Okay. And then it's going to be a very sunny day. And there's my son. All right. And then we are going to have some ocean. Uh, yeah, ocean. And then some big flowers are going to be in the foreground. Flowers are big and they're going to go off the paper so you're not even going to see them all. color wheel before and we looked at uh, warm colors versus cool colors. Cool colors are on this side of the wheel. These are the cool family and this is the warm family on this side of the wheel. All right and I, I'm going to use my oil pastels. You can also use crayons. They work really well. I'm going to start with oil pastels on this one and I'm going to start with the warm colors. And I'm going to do the warm colors on the top of my um, drawing. Ready to move on to our um, cool colors. So I've pulled out some cool colors here. Um, blues, greens, violets. Um, and I'm going to see how we can play with those on here. I think I'm going to start with my violet right here. And I'm going to try and keep it in a line, but I actually might want it to go over like I did above. I'm going to blend some of the colors, see what happens in my ocean. Oh, I really like this blue. It's really neat blue. And I like how the lines in my ocean are not perfectly straight. It makes it look like the ocean is moving. Again, I'm thinking about the texture and the table and how that translates on my page. I'm doing a little bit of blending. Give my two colors. And you can decide what order or how you want to do the colors as long as you're doing warm colors here and cool colors down here. And voila! have three examples of our Ernst Ludwig Kirchner inspired artwork. We have um, the seascapes and we've explored our two uh, color families of warm color and cool color. We put our warm colors on the top and our cool colors in the bottom in the ocean. Uh, we've explored foreground, middle ground, and background. We've also looked at things, we've also created a focal point. Um, so I'm very happy about these and I can't wait to see the artwork that you've created. Please be sure to 
take a picture of it, send it to me so I can put it in your gallery. I'd like you to tell me what your favorite part of your artwork is. And maybe if there's something that you've discovered in the process of creating it, I'd like to see that too. Have a great day and have fun making art.